etc., etc., etc. And we have an ambiguous finale! I guess we'll find out together if they made it. Holy shit! Hey, we made it! Oh, Nate. <laughs> Nate! Nate! Hey! Come on, I got you! Are you okay? Yeah. Here. Well, Tammy, she's got a flare. That's nice. Uh, I certainly hope not. I mean, it mentioned that. So you got everything? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, feel free to sell anything I left behind. <laughs> sure, I can't give you a lift home. After the last few days, I think I'd like a plane with drink service and reclining seats. Plus, uh, she and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, you do. And no more late night phone calls about one last time. <laughs> Promise. Thanks, Sally. Take care, kid. Don't be a stranger. Next time you're in town, beers are on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and then the bunny escapes anyway, and it leaves little bunny surprises all over the headmaster's bed. Hey, 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 what are you telling her? Just about your little magic phase. Oh, I hate you. What was <laughs> your stage name? Go on, tell her. Nate the Great. <laughs> it's not funny. It makes sense. In his defense, he was actually, you were pretty good. Uh-huh. Hey, look, Sam. It has been an experience getting to meet you. Kid. But the handshake? Well, that's one way to put it. Being in for the real thing, sister. You take care of this gnome skull, all right? Yeah, I will. I'll join you in a sec. Yeah. I like her. God help her, she sure seems to love you. <laughs> I know, right? Listen, the offer still stands. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I know, but if you feel like you're imposing, it's, you're not. We not talked about, about it. It's not about that. It's a little bit of that, okay? Yeah. But <laughs> I just kind of thought that after we found Avery's treasure, I'd be satisfied. Uh -huh. Instead, I've uh, <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of Emptiness. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, as thrilling as the next adventure might be, in the end, I always left with that same feeling. You know, sometimes you just gotta choose what you're gonna keep and you know, what you're gonna let go. Well, I guess I'm just not there yet. And besides, you know, you got a few ancient cities on me, and I can't let that slide. So. Yeah, I left a couple out there. Well, thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's that's our ride. Yeah. Uh Sam. You've come far. We sure have a little brother. Come here. Listen, you don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? Get out of here, Vemos. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a rather short list. Need on the adventuring side anyway. Let's see, still thinks yeah. He's not the most redeeming right. character in the world. Yeah. So, Victor, what's next for you? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> well, before I got dragged into this, I was working on a business deal of sorts. Of sorts? Hmm. Dangerous? Mm -hmm. With these people, yeah. It's up there. Well, I just so happen to know a certain someone recently out of prison who might be perfect for this kind of work. Ooh, I don't know. Is he trustworthy? No. More or less. As is Portuguese. 
Muy mal. Cuando Wait, that's Spanish. Manito volta para casa. Oh, never mind. Which I mean, how long before your husband gets home? <laughs> That'll do. Come on. You got any more of those cigars? Don't push your luck. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sam went on his feet pretty quick. Job. <laughs> ah. All right, I'll bite. What's going on? Land a big contract or something? Oh, even better. I'm on the verge of selling Jameson Marine. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That, well, hey, I guess I guess congratulations are in order, huh? Well, not yet, but I'm confident it'll go through. They drove a hard bargain, but in the end, I think we came to a uh, oh no mutually beneficial agreement. Oh, no. That's, that's great. Are, are you going to stay on? No, 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 no. I think I'd like to just relax, mm. hang with the family, go fishing every chance I get. <laughs> okay. Good for you. <laughs> so who's the sap who's going to buy this place? Oh, uh, you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, come on, seriously. Oh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Wait, Jameson. Wait, wait up, man. Hey. Morning, guys. Hi. What are you doing here? Just thought I'd take, you know, one final look. Already gave your husband the keys. Okay. Perfect. Is, is this for real? Nate, all you need to know is that you'd be making a very wise investment. Do the right thing here. Call me when you're through. You got it. I'm just as confused Hi. as he is. Hi. You, you're buying Jameson Marine. We are buying Jameson Marine. Oh. Okay. How? Why? <laughs> well, heard this rumor about a salvage job off the coast of Malaysia, and I thought it'd be right up oh, our no, alley. No, honey, look, we barely got out of Libertalia alive. Yeah. Hey, taking an illegal job. You know what that leads to. Who said it was illegal? <laughs> Look. This came in this morning. The papers! Is this legit? Yeah. Some of my old contacts out there, they worked their magic with the Malaysian permit office. <laughs> it was great. I didn't even have to bribe anyone. Well, that's good because I don't know how we could possibly even afford to do this. Here. Hold out your hand. What? Hold out your hand. Come on. Crash Bandicoot. Oh, never mind. Oh my crap. Where did you get this? It was in my jacket pocket. <laughs> Along with a bunch more. A bunch? Okay. Sam. He's a sneaky one. <laughs> yeah. Of course, most of them are going to have to go into our venture here, along with all the new camera gear. Hey. <laughs> camera gear? Yeah. You know, I figured as we're pulling all the cargo up from the dive, we could hire, you know, a small crew. We could film the whole thing and resurrect my old show. What happened to just living a normal life? I think in our attempt to lead a normal life, we may have oversteered. Look, when I was on that island, I missed the adventure. I missed us. And so now we have a chance to do what we love. But from here on out, we are going to operate on a strictly legal basis, all right? And I will be doing all of the shooting with my really expensive camera. Hmm. 
Wow. You've really thought all this through, haven't you? More or less. But listen, just say the word and I will call the whole thing off. What? Tomato, tomato, potato, oh, potato. No, 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 no. Let's call the whole thing I off. I don't want to be that guy who ruins Jameson's early retirement like that. That'd be cruel. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, you know. Nothing worthwhile is. So. What do you say, Nathan Drake? Sure, why not? Hmm. Yeah, as long as I don't have to do any paperwork. Yeah, good <laughs> luck with that part. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I'm gonna have my hands full with the camera. Well, I'm gonna have my hands full with all the diamonds. Okay, fine. We'll take turns. Yeah. Well, you or could just hire a third one. I could play it for it. Seriously? No, listen, I have been practicing. I'm getting good. No. My hand eye is way I better than it used to be. Really? <laughs> I cannot do that to you again. Are you afraid to blame me? I am so not afraid On a to scale of you. one to ten, how scared are you to blame me? Like a three. Yeah, well, jack three? that up to like 11, all oh. right? Because <laughs> I'm coming for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. That's. Okay. <laughs> Fine. You're on. <laughs> Get to play again. Are you serious? Oh my god. Alright. Let's see if I can do better than the last time. <laughs> oh man. What a way to end the game. With the game. And I totally missed the extra life, but whoop de do. <laughs> oh god. Yay, checkpoint without dying. Oh my god. It's a miracle. <laughs> oh boy. The new PS. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. Nice doggy. Hi, doggy. Where are they? Oh, okay. I'm controlling her now. Uh. Are you a daughter, I guess? Old school. Well, you did play it, so I guess you can't really comment on that too much, now can you? Alrighty, well, let's see what we have around here. What we've got... Okay, uh, you're a rock climber. And a surfer, or, or interested in surfing, anyway. So good. I wonder. I really should clean this up. If this mm, is later. Nathan and Ellie's daughter, Nathan and Elena's daughter, and we're going to be playing as her if there is an Uncharted 5. Yeah, you really need to clean your room, little lady. Mom? Dad? Anyone? 
Hmm. Oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Yep. I guess that would be... This would be the daughter. <laughs> Sorry, Sully. <laughs> wow, Sam looks so young. Oh, wow. So she's gotten to do some exploring along with them, I guess. And that's it for the pictures, I guess. Okay. Well... Now we know, pretty much. Let's see. Did that copy of Crash have an M rating? Uh, well, let me go check, actually. Let's see. No, K and A. So, I mean, I can see where it would look like an M, but... Nope. Kids to adults. Sorry, guys. Crash Bandicoot is not too mature for you. Of course, to be fair, I had totally forgotten that that was even... Yeah, like you said, that that was a thing. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm still looking for treasure. Hey never too late to look for treasure, even if it is the very end of the game, and I doubt there's any anywhere around. Here we go. Is there going to be a monkey here, too, that can snatch this thing out from my hands? I mean, it happened at night. Oh, cool. Sam and Sully are coming to visit. Let's see. Busy Havana Street, drinking one. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Retirement is weird. Good, but weird. <laughs> wow. You lost the bet to both of us. <laughs> oh, man. Sully went off the cigars in Cuba? That's impressive. Huh. Okay. Wow, alright. So we've got basically the setup, I guess, for at least the end of this game. If we end up going on another Uncharted adventure, we've got the setup for that too, I suppose. Let's see. Other... I put it down and forgot what I did with it. <laughs> uh, well... Uh, have fun finding it. <laughs> All right, what's up, Poochie? I think they abandoned us. Ah. Oh well, nice knowing you. Well, so cool. I need to ask Mom to borrow this one again. Oh, is that the? Okay, yeah, that's the camera. All right. I saw the triangle trailing around. I wasn't sure if that was that same thing or if it was something else. Let's see what you got. Mama's weird taste in music. But I kind of like this one. Hmm. Okay. I guess we've pretty much found just about everything in the house. Just this one. <laughs> Can you get him another one? <laughs> All right. But this is the last one for today. Okay? <laughs> I 
And no, okay, can't feed him another one. Oh well. Nice try though, buddy. All right, time to go. Hey. <laughs> Off she goes. Wow, oh, nice place you got here. Taj Mahal, here I come. Just a few more weeks. Hmm. Okay. So she is going traveling. Hey, can I lay out in the hammock? Nah, guess not. Perfect day. Now all we need is the rest of our boat crew. Okay, so I can't get up there. Oh well. Let's see who's over here, I wonder. And not here either. Okay, I guess I'll just wait then. Whoa. Good job cleaning this up. Hmm. Interesting little figurine there. And we've got something that you I figured it out. can't really see what that even is, but okay. I guess it's a cipher of some sort. Oh, this was definitely my favorite dig. Okay, so they've become archaeologists now, I guess? Alright, I totally can't look at anything else. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay. DNF fortunes. So, what's the F? I mean, D is Drake, but... Oh, Drake and Fisher. Okay, there we go. All right. Huh. Wow, so their business, I guess, has really taken off in the last however many years. Got the search area narrowed down quite a bit. On the, no, okay. Can't check out the world map. All right, let's see. Hello, Scuba Gear. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? What do you keep in here? Don't answer that, guys. I don't think she'll like the answer of being so young, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so goofy. Eh, well, hey. Hmm. He left his keys. He left his keys. I guess we will find out what's in here. There's no <laughs> way. Just no. Way. <sighs> Whoa. Ugh, I knew it. Wow, so much stuff to look at. Holy crap, where do we start? Uh, I guess go left or right. Oh, nice, uh, gun holster, Dad. See, that looks like Dismas. What is this? Uh, 
Uh, is that a bullet hole? Yup. <laughs> Pirate coin. I know it's like Avery's sigil. Wait, is it Avery's sigil? Mm hmm. Yep. Kind of creepy. Kind of cool. Yeah, that's the wrong spot. So now, they're gonna know she lived through it. Hello. So that was the all the journal entries, basically. I guess just in case you wanted to oh. go back through all of these areas Penny here. Penny Avery, the Gunsway Heist. Wait, did you go looking for Avery's treasure? <laughs> no idea. Actually, we can go the right direction here. No way. Is that Dad? Sig Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Hmm. What's this? Okay. What the hell? Hi. Oh shit. Rip. The journal's out, genius. Hey, there you are. Hey. Been looking for you. What are you? Doing in here? Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? <laughs> uh, I just need to. Um, nice to know Elena's BS meter is as accurate as always. Cassie. Okay. Don't be mad. I said, don't be mad. <laughs> Keys. So, what did you see? Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully with a bunch of Spanish looking treasure and a shotgun. This is bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? <laughs> language. Yeah, language. Sorry. But you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a <laughs> silver skull of some kind. No, I don't think I'm ready for this. Really? Nate? It's time to have the talk. <laughs> yeah, it's the totally talk. time. Wait, which talk are we talking about here? She's just a kid. <laughs> She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of that. That is different, and you know it. Okay, look, if you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. <laughs> but I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough? How old are you again? Ah, <laughs> funny. Mom? All right. Well, let's see. Um, Your dad was a treasure hunter. For me, it started when this guy 
called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> it sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. She knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record, I totally delivered. <laughs> yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. Oh, come on. You know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates after you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that, pretty that's much right. it. Yeah. Bullshit. Oh, language. language. <laughs> Crap. Better. All right, so keep going. You know what? The sun is up, boat's ready, wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, wait, what would what Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? Actually, he wasn't in there. Yeah, just his journal with a map to El Dorado. The city of gold? Uh, that's the legend. Turns out it was just a statue, a cursed statue. No way, seriously? Yeah, seriously. But uh, I'll get back to that. I think were the best of the four. And Fez, you commented on that a good bit. Uh, they're really good. I stunk at them, but they're really good. Uh, as far as the combat goes, I don't really see there being too much of a difference really between three and four. I don't think they changed a whole lot about it. Except the sword fight at the end. That was a definite difference. And I stunk at that too, but then again, what's new? As far as, I guess the overall the story does feel like it was a little forced as far as suddenly Sam has a brother. Um, or Sam has a brother. Sam is the brother. Nate has a brother is what I meant. That, was, that seemed a little forced. I mean, especially because there was no mention whatsoever of Sam in any of the other games. And, I, I mean, I do, that, I do know that... Um, I mean, they did fairly well with it, although... I guess the the slights were a little more a little easily forgiven. I thought they might go a bit deeper than that with it, but yeah. Uh, let's see. I think as far as villainry goes, I, I still don't think anything really measures up to Lazarevich. Still, I mean, one's villain. I'll be quite honest. I don't really remember very well. Lazarevich was. Oh boy, uh, you couldn't. It seemed like you couldn't kill him at all until the very end. Then three with I know it's not Helen Mirren, but kind of looks like Helen Mirren. And meh. and it, I kind of feel the same way about this because you you so much of you ugh, so much of it was wrapped up in the dynamic between Rafe and Nadine, and then suddenly at the then at the end of it, Nadine basically is not really a factor anymore, and so. It just kind of took a little bit of the steam out of it, I guess. And Rafe wasn't a particularly compelling figure to begin with. I mean, he was okay, but that's really about it. I think, overall, uh... I mean, how would I rate the games, I guess? Um... I think of them, two had the best combination of circumstances, I guess. I mean, the best combination of everything. Uh, three was, I think, the way that I would rank it is two at the top. Then, I think four, I, I think this one will probably be second. Then three, and then the first one being at the bottom of it. 
at least just that's just my take on it. And yes, Nadine is one of the characters in the DLC. Uh, Chloe is the main character, I think, in the DLC. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. I don't know how much it costs. I'd have to look into it. Or if it's even available yet. But I don't know if I'll get it. Uh, if I do, it'll be interesting to play from Chloe's perspective. But I don't know. I'm still mulling that over. I think, uh, I'm trying to think of what else to mention. I think if they do another Uncharted, I would like it to be, if, I mean, I think honestly they probably should do somebody totally new. They're, I don't think they're going to. I think they're setting it up basically for, if there is an Uncharted 5, for Uncharted 5 to feature Cassie. At least that's the way it seems to me. I'm wouldn't be averse to that. Granted, we know very little about her. We just know what we've seen in the last roughly 15 minutes or so. But I wouldn't be averse to it. I think, though, it doesn't need to be a story focusing on Nathan. Because we've had four of those. And I think... I mean, granted, Nathan can be a participant, certainly, if, I mean, if they want to do that. But I think it should really be, if nothing else, if you're going to keep it in the Drake family, have it focused on Cassie, grown up a little bit, and then sort of have her as a new, uh, as a new, I guess, branch of the Drake family that's trying to break off on her own, or trying to sort of break out on her own, find her own adventures, and so on and so forth and etc. As for... I guess, uh, the future of the series? I mean, that would really, to me, be the best way to do it. Because, yeah, I think... You have to end it with Nathan now. I mean, especially now that they've got DNF, uh, fortunes, I think is what they called it. It's... That really is the best way, I think, to, to move it forward if they want to. Honestly, I'd be fine with it ending here. Well, with a little bit of DLC, of course. But I kind of would be fine with this being the end of the series. I don't think that's going to happen, because money is money. But if they do end the series here, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't blame them too much for it. I wouldn't be too averse to the idea. But if they do extend it, you know, move it on to somebody else. We've had enough adventures with Nathan, and if they've been fun... But we've had enough adventures with Nathan. Okay, uh... Trying to think if there's anything else I want to mention as far as the game itself while the credits are still rolling. Uh... I mean, not too much, I guess. Not that I can think of, really. One thing, actually, I will say about this game that it really did better of... Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll mention what I thought about that in a minute, Joe. Uh, <laughs> but uh, one thing I will mention about this game that I think did better than any of the others is the variety of ways that you moved around. I mean, you had the slides, you had the grappling, you had the pythons. You had all sorts of ways to move around the environment that I think made for a much better integration with the environment than you had with the other three Uncharted games. I think that is one thing that 4 did better than anybody else. So there's that. Okay, and as far as the, let's see, the fun fact. Let's see, in 1961, a computer sang a bicycle made for two. Huh. I didn't really think of computers as singing, but I guess now with modern technology, obviously that happens all the time, technically speaking. But that actually makes some sense, because... I mean, computers were around. I mean, really what you would think of as computers. Ah, oh, come on, sound. Quit being a butt. I don't know why this thing's having these issues. Oh, it's really having issues. My goodness. And right at the end, too. Come on, Elgato. Come on. Okay, well... The, 
don't, well, there it kind of comes back. Ha! Ah, ha, this is annoying. I, I, well, one thing I can say, I guess, as far as the, the, uh, as the Elgato goes, um, well, now it mostly comes back. I, I don't think I got the best product. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but it's got a lot of sound issues that just are really, um, I, I mean, obviously haven't worked out that well, so... Eh, it, it's a little bit of a bummer because I think I kind of got a teensy bit shafted in the whole bargain, but you know, now that I've used it for a full series, I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not really going to behoove it much else. As for what I'm going to do after this, I've been thinking, and I think what I'm going to do, I mean, obviously I'm going to be streaming Final Fantasy V on Tuesday, and I think I'm going to probably take the week, just the full weekend off, because Saturday's Christmas Eve and Sunday's Christmas Day, and I actually discovered or found out uh, a couple of days ago that I have Christmas Eve off completely. How? I have no idea. Well, partially because my availability is from 3 to close, and when we close at 6, it's not much time, so they just didn't schedule me. But I think since I'm going to have Sunday completely off, I'm probably just going to go home early. And early meaning probably leave sometime mid-morning or so Saturday and be up and at home Saturday afternoon. So, I, I mean, I wasn't going to stream on Sunday anyway because I was going to be home for Christmas. So I figure I'm probably going to take the whole weekend off and then we'll come back the following weekend and start Paper Mario. So, might as well. And I will be probably shelving the webcam. I figure I will. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. I mean, now that the sound issues with this have mostly been fixed, I'm more comfortable with, uh, I'm more comfortable with using it. So, I don't know. I might in the future, but I don't particularly think I'm going to use it for an RPG series just because, I mean, it seems to me that that might be a little much, but then again, that's obviously a matter of opinion. But yeah, uh, Dragon, er, Dragon Quest, listen to me, Final Fantasy V on uh, Tuesdays, of course. And I should be able to, uh, to obviously stream this Tuesday, but I should be able to stream next Tuesday as well, because the, uh, I will be back by then. I'll have, I'll have gone up Saturday, I'll have obviously stayed Sunday for Christmas, and I'll be able to stay Monday and then drive back probably Tuesday morning, so I can be back here in time to stream that Tuesday. So I should be fine to continue the Tuesday streams as scheduled. I'm just going to take the weekend off, I think. And I'll just spend time with my family, have fun, enjoy Christmas, and then we will go ahead and convene, basically, uh, Paper Mario the following weekend. And I think we might finally be done with the credits. <laughs> Let's see. And I have a feeling at the end of it, there's going to be a few achievements that's going to come rolling in at least two or three of them anyway. So, let's see how that goes. Or, or not. Oh, here we go. There we go. Charted 1 in moderate credits. Charted 2 in light. Charted 3 in beginner. Explore. Okay, yeah, that's it. Uh, any more? Okay, no, that's it. All right, well, let's see. Well, we got a little bit of extra time that we normally wouldn't have, so we can look at extras now, including our bonuses that we can unlock, including the add-ons. Let's see. We've got the different skins. Oh, I can choose to be Nadine or Elena. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Weapons. I can choose. Still not sure why those guns are gold, but all right, whatever. Ah, uh, wow. Look at all this. Holy crap. We can unlock everything. We can use everything. Uh, let's see. Render modes. Okay. All right. But, wow. What? <laughs> Mosaic. Holy crap. Thief vision. Okay. I, I guess that 
gives me a good perspective on enemies. Negative. Wow, that looks weird. <laughs> Afterlife. Oh my gosh. Chalk dust. Okay. Oh, wow, that looks strange. My goodness, all these crazy filters. Rainbow. <laughs> oh, my Lord. And then 8-bit. Nice. So I can go through Libertalia and look at all the pixels. <laughs> Let's see. Photo filter. Blorange? Oh, that's odd. Classy. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. Oh, well, very blue. Inferno is all reds. Yeah, naturally. Uh, let's see. Noir. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Sepia. Vibrant. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Look at all the colors. Vintage. Oh, okay. And then warm. All right. So let's see. All of that is 30, 45, 50. 50 okay, it's 55 for all of those. Uh, let's see. Let's see, 9, 12, 18, let's see, let's see. Well, 55 for all the filters, and we've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21 weapons. So that's another 63. So that's 118? Yeah, 118. Uh, then the skin, well, we already got all the skins, I think. Uh, we don't have to unlock them. Or, oh, never mind, we do. Okay. Wow, we've got lots of Drake skins. Uh, okay. We can play as old man Drake. <laughs> Let's see. Scotland. Scotland. Hey, we could play as classy Drake. I think the Crash Bandicoot minigame's available here. Uh, yeah, we could take a look. Well, Drake with a beer. <laughs> okay, then Sam is two. Oh, wow. Sully's only got five skins. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Elena's... Okay. And old lady Elena actually doesn't look so old. She doesn't really look like she aged all that much. Hi, Nadine. You're only... You, you're only one point. Sorry. You're, you're not really worth that much. Neither are you, Rafe. <laughs> oh, we've got Swashbuckler, Rafe. All right. Okay, uh, let's see. And then we've got the modifiers. Okay. Mirror World. Mirror on Death. Oh, wow. Okay, so it flips basically whenever you die. Let's see. Slow Motion. Bullet Speed Mode. Oh, okay. No idea what that means, but okay. No crap. <laughs> oh, Lord. 8-bit audio. 4-bit audio. Wow. <laughs> Helium. Xenon. Infinite ammo. Oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, okay, that's all. Let's see. 20, 30, 40, 55. I actually could afford most of that, I think. Uh, I don't see the game available, though. Because I don't see it in any of this, and I don't see it in any of the modifiers, either. So, I don't know. Infinite ammo. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, let's see. Character gallery. We've got, I think, all of the... We can unlock all of the different characters themselves. And it should populate all of these now. I wonder, though, why... Now, oh, wow. Okay, I guess those are the different mercenaries? Oh, I suppose. And then, hi, Cassie. And then, hi, Jameson. Hi, other Jameson. Hi, third Jameson. Oh, oh, hey, Gustavo, what up? Hey, fake Alcazar. All right, so pretty much we can unlock basically everybody. Uh, yes, quit to the main menu. Thank you. Let's 
let's see, concept art gallery is all of the chapters. Okay. So actually, yeah, I've got enough points to unlock most of this, except unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can unlock any uh, any Crash Bandicoot, sadly. Okay, let's take a look at some stats. <laughs> Played it for 20 hours. Well, that's a little bit longer than the previous ones. Three hours standing still. Okay. Uh, two hours in cover. Makes sense. I took cover almost 600 times. Ran 57 kilometers. So that's actually two marathons thereabouts. Or no, it's no, actually no, it's not. It's about a marathon and a half. Uh, let's see. Climbed 5,000 meters. Wow. Collected 40 of the treasures. Seriously? I thought I did better than that. Wow, holy crap. Let's see, maybe you can start up the epilogue and play it again. Um, you can, I think so. Because I think you can choose your chapter, but we'll check. Let's see, 17 to 25 journal entries, 17 to 23 notes, 26 optional conversations. I killed 630 people, 28 in a row, destroyed 18 vehicles, failed 155 times. Let's see, 200 with melee, 56 with stealth. That's actually not bad. Uh, pulled 22 of them off a ledge. Killed one of them by dropping on their head. Okay, 14 by buddy. Let's see, hit 39%. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Uh, let's see, shots fired, enemies defeated with guns, headshots. Okay, so wait, half of the people I killed with guns, I killed with headshots? Curious. Good, but curious. Blind firing from cover, 23. Wow. Run and gun. Let's see. 39 explosion deaths. Yeah, it's not a surprise. I didn't use explosions very much, except grenades and dynamite. And killing them by dropping their grenades. And I knocked over 13 of the 16 cairns. Okay. All right. Well... Oh, we've got Drake's Journal. We can look at it if we feel like it, I guess. Oh, yeah. With its own pop-in rendering. Start the audit. Start the game again with 8-bit audio and 8-bit video. Ah, I mean, if the sound hadn't gone out on this thing, I certainly would, but... Let's see. Okay. Got all the treasures here. I mean, we, see, uh, we saw all of them as they popped up, but... Okay, apparently we have an old arcade token just sitting around. Who knows from where. Spanish halfpenny. A knife. A pewter bird box. Okay. And a pewter box. And a memento mori. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Interesting little treasure. Spanish or Scottish tip staff. I have no idea what a tip staff even does, but okay. Let's see. Oh, Moogle. Powder flask. And I'm calling it Moogle, not Muggle. It's not Harry Potter. Let's see. Parchment scroll. Okay, let's see. Oh, well, map of the heavens, I guess, if you need it to walk around in your pocket. Ale, just in case anybody's thirsty. Letter cylinder. Uh, Scottish snuff mull. Earthware. Okay, it's a mug. Nephrite and Jade Bowl. All right. Persian Silver Pen Box. Notebook Case. Okay. Bronze Spouted Bowl. Muggle or Moogle Elephant Carving. Ottoman Helmet. Oh, that's nice. Spyglass. Okay. We got into Pirate Land at that point. All right. Just in case you need something to tuck in your pants. Wait. Bearded Bottle? What's so bearded about it? Oh. That's what's bearded. Okay. And Toy Soldier, Toy Seaplane. I picked those up in the in the uh, flashback. Let's see. Jade Serving Bowl, Pewter Incense Burner, Moogle Stout Face. Oh, yeah, I'd say. Let's see. Brass Chalice. Mm -hmm. Moogle Painted Elephant. Oh, hi. You're very shiny. Wow. Okay. Then Dinnerware, Stone Vessel, Moogle Cudgel. Let's see, painted spouted vase. Mm -hmm. Stone vase. And finally, the Rajasthan box. It's nice. Hmm. Okay. 
I think that's pretty much it, uh, from what I can tell. Yeah, okay, you can actually, here you go, Pro uh, begin play from combat encounters you've already played. You can select each of the chapters. So yeah, you can do the epilogue. And you, okay, you actually had an optional conversation you can trigger. That's interesting. Okay. The Turk didn't go in your pants, it went in your sock. Well, I just saw it called dress dirt, so I thought maybe it was something for more formal occasions, just in case you wanted to kill anything. Okay, one of two treasures. Oh, wow, all right. Two of four treasures, one of two optional conversations. Ah, okay. Then I shot up all the targets. All right, Alcazar. Wow, one of nine? And I got all the optional conversations, good for me, but my God, that was awful. Okay, lights out. Three of 11, oh Lord, that's in Scotland. One of two journal entries, one of two, one of one notes, okay. Two of two conversations, all right. Three of six treasures, eh. Seven of 15 treasures, but that place was massive. I mean, that 12 towers level was huge. So I don't fault myself for missing stuff there, really. Two of five treasures, yeah, okay. Yeah, that one, bleh. At sea, uh, also a fairly large area. Uh, then let's see, three of five treasures in Maroon. That was where we went out of Inmedius Rest, basically. Zero of nine in... Okay, I didn't think I'd whiffed on any of them, but I guess I did. Then, oh wow, I whiffed on this one too. Good job, me. Uh, two of three treasures in the flashback. Okay. Yep. Two of six. In, wow, treasures is the only thing I blanked on there. Everything else I got. Okay. Let's see, four of eight in New Devon. Everything in Avery's Descent. Okay. One of five in the... Wow. One of five in the first chapter we were in. Two of four in the second one. And none in the last one. Okay, zero of one. Well, good job, me. <laughs> Went in a Scotsman's... Oh, okay. Fair enough. All right, well, I think I'm going to wrap it up. And because we don't really have much else to explore, and I couldn't find Crash Bandicoot, so no extra gaming for you guys. But yeah, we will resume on Tuesday. Pick back up as we go into the, the water tower of Final Fantasy V. So... Thank you guys for coming in. Sorry, the audio on the Elgato decided to crap out at the end, but eh, oh well, not much I could do about that, I suppose. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me and for coming with me on this run of the, at least for now, final Uncharted game. Uh, we'll see if there's more to come later, but I don't know. We'll see. But at any rate, thank you guys for joining me and for making this fun. As always, I hope to see you guys on Tuesday. If not, have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy uh, Boxing Day, Happy Three Kings Day, although that's in January, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Hope you have a good rest of your Sunday evening, and I'll see y'all later.